Although our app works right now, it's not something you'd want to ship to the App Store. It has at least one major usability problem, and the design is, well, let's say substandard. <laughs> let's look at the usability problem first, because it's possible it hasn't occurred to you. I'm going to run the app again, and uh, you're going to see my default wake-up time is 6.53 p.m. And this happens because in our properties up here, we make wake up equal to date.now by default, the current date and time. And so our property to wake up is the current time it is right now. Now, although the app needs to be able to handle any sort of date and time, you know, I don't want to exclude night shift workers, for example, I think it's safe to say a default wake up time between 6 and 8 a.m. is going to match the majority of users, not 6.53 p.m., right? To fix this, we're going to add a computed property to our content view struct that contains a date value referencing 7 a.m. of the current day. This is surprisingly straightforward thanks to date components. We can just go ahead and make one of these things and convert the current date components we want, 7 hour, 0 minutes, into the current date as an object. And so we'll say down here, there's a new property called default wake time, which is a date. Inside here, I'll say date uh, components equals a new date components. Components.hour is seven. Components.minute uh, minute is zero or 30 or whatever you want to set it to. And then send back calendar.current.date from those components. And if that fails somehow, send back date.now. So 7 a.m. on the current date. And we can now use that for wake up's default value, not date.now. We'll say default wake time. However, if you try and build that, it will complain loudly. We're trying to read one property in our struct from another property. And that's a bad idea. Swift does not know which order these are safe to run in. It'll complain. Now, a fix here is straightforward we can actually make default wake time a static property, which means it belongs to the content view struct as a whole, not to a particular instance of that struct. This in turn means default wake time can be read whenever we want, because it doesn't rely on the existence of wake up or any other value to work correctly. And so I'll make this thing static var default wake time. And that will fix our usability problem because if I press command R now, it'll default to 7 a.m. on the current day, no matter where they are. Boom, perfect. And it's, like I said, it's, it's not perfect because night shift workers won't want 7 a.m., they'll want 7 p.m., but it's close enough to what most users are gonna want to have. They might go an hour later or an hour earlier, but it's close, that's the main thing. The second problem is our styling, and this requires more effort. You know, the, the simple change here really is to switch out this V stack for a form because doing so will immediately apply default system standard styling to everything inside our layout. It'll look a lot better. We get nice, clear controls based on the inputs we care about. There's still an annoyance here though. If you look really closely at our form, you'll see the dividing lines go between every single row. Uh, so it isn't really clear that these two are attached and these two and these two are attached as well. Uh, there's no sectioning to our layouts. Now we could use section views here with our titles of when do you want to wake up and desired amount of sleep and so forth. You will get to experiment with that in the challenges for this project. Here though, we're gonna wrap each pair of text view and control with a VStack. So they're seen to the form as a single row each. So go ahead and wrap each of your pairs with a VStack. Uh, I'm gonna use leading for the alignment and zero for spacing. So we'll say there's a VStack here with alignment alignment of uh, dot leading and spacing of zero uh, for this two. And then again for, oops, crazy, again for these two. And then again for the last two. Like that. And now you'll see the in-between dividers have gone, we only have the main row dividers. 
So go ahead and run the app for one last time, because I think it's actually done. I want to look at 7 a.m. I want to sleep for a super long period of time. Good luck to me. Two dogs, two kids, not going to happen. And I have two copies a day. I've got to go to bed, ideally at 8.24 p.m. How would I watch Ted Lasso at 8 if I had to go to bed that early, eh? It wouldn't happen. Anyway, the app's done. Good job.